Murli invested a sum of money which became 19,500 in 5 years at 6% per annum simple interest. We have to find out the sum of money invested by Murli. Now first write down whatever values are given. Now this is saying he had invested sum of money and which became 19,500 in 5 years. That means this is the amount that has been calculated after that he paid after 5 years. So 19,500 is the amount he paid. So you write down amount is equal to 19,500. The time is given in years which is 5 years. The rate of interest charged was 6% per annum. Right and we have to find the sum. Now sum here represents the principal. So we have to find out the principal invested. Okay. As we can start with the simple interest. But for finding out the simple interest we need to find out the principal only. So what should we do? The value that is to be found. Let us start assuming that first. Do not start with simple interest. Why? Because simple interest again will be requiring your value of principal. So first of all let us assume some value of principal. That would be let principal be rupees x. Now I have assumed the principal to be rupees x. Now I can calculate my simple interest. My simple interest would be PRT upon 100. This is equal to P is x. Rate of interest charge was 6%. The time is 5 years whole upon 100. So I get this as 6 fives as 30x upon 100. I do have some common factors in them. So I will divide them with 10 both. And I land up with 3x upon 10. So my simple interest comes out to be 3x upon 10. But that doesn't solve my problem. I needed to find out the principle. So what will I do? Now you can please have a look at the question here. I have used time and rate, right? But I have not used the value of amount up till now. Now this amount can be used now to find out the principle. How come? We know that the amount is always equal to principle plus simple interest. So what we can do? We will place the value for amount that is 19,500. We will place the value of P that we had assumed which was x plus the calculated value of simple interest which was 3x over 10. So we will write it over here and we can solve this equation further which would be equal to 19,500 equal to taking the LCM giving you 10x plus 3x. Now on solving this we get 19,500 equal to 13x upon 10. Now you can cross multiply both of them because nothing can be solved any further. So on cross multiplication we get 19,500 into 10 which will be this equal to 13x. Now x will come out equal to 195000 divided with 13 because I am calculating x that means what was the assumed value of x? It was p only. So whatever be the value of x will be my value for p. We can continue solving it further and this would give us the value of x to be equal to when we divide it that will give us the value for principal and that would be 13 ones as 13. We are left with let's just cut it over here only 13 ones as 13. What is 19 minus 13 that gives you 7 again 6 again. So you have 65 and we know 13 fives as 65 so you add 3 zeros as it is. That means the value of x comes out to be 15,000 but as we know x was assumed to be my principal. So what is the principal invested by Murli? The principal invested by Murli will be equal to rupees 15,000. So that is how you can calculate the principal that is to be found. That was about the first question. Now let us move on to the second question over here where we are asking that Neha has borrowed a sum of rupees 5000. Now the 5000 rupees is the sum that is the principal given to us. Next is that she is going to pay rupees 1950 that is 1950 
and as interest. So this means this is the interest paid by her after six one by two years. Six and a half years is my time period. So what am I supposed to find out? The last remaining part that is the rate of interest. So how do we calculate rate of interest? Simple enough. Let us write down all the values given. The principal is given to us as rupees five thousand. The interest that has been given to us is rupees one nine five zero. The time period is also given to us as six one by two years, which can be simplified and written as two six as twelve plus one thirteen upon two years, and we have to find out the rate. Can you think of any formula which has all the four quantities in them? Yes, we do have, and which is simple interest equal to P R T upon hundred. Let us place the values. One nine five zero is the simple interest equal to what is the principal? Five thousand is the principal. Let us assume the value of R to be X percent per annum. So I'll write the place. in the place of r as x what is my time period the time period is 13 upon 2 and whole divided with 100 so let us simplify it further we get 1950 equal to 5000 multiplied with x multiplied with 13 whole divided with 100 now this 2 gets multiplied with this 100 in the denominator we will solve this further so before moving on we can simplify it here also That is, now you get fifteen to x into thirteen upon two. Let us continue further. We get one nine five zero equal to fifty into x into thirteen all divided with two. Still, the numerator can be simplified further. What is thirteen five zero? Five three zero is fifteen and one sixty five. You add a zero x. So we get six fifty x upon two equal to one nine five zero. we can continue solving this by taking the cross multiplication you we get 2 into 1950 gives you 2 zeros are 0 2 fives are 10 and 1 2 nines are 18 and 1 19 and 1 2 ones are 2 3 3900 equal to 650 over oh, 650 into x now x would come out to be equal to 3900 over 650 we can cut it and we can try and solve it i know That let's try sixty five six times six five is a thirty and three six six is a thirty six and three three ninety. So we know sixty five six times is three ninety. That means the value of x comes out to be six. And what was the assumed? Why have we assumed value of x? We had assumed it to be the rate of interest. So my rate of interest was assumed to be x. Therefore, I get the rate of interest charged as six percent per. Annum, because it was the value for x, so I have got my answer for rate of interest as six percent per annum.